everyone, this is Andrea, the Girl Plus Paper. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you as part of the Creative Design Team's February collaboration that we are calling Love Your Stash. Now we have an exciting topic each week during the month of February and each day you'll be treated to a different project. Today we are going to focus on digging out those old kits that you have and we are going to turn them into something wonderful. So let's get started with my project. I have decided to pull out one of my Craft with Heart subscription layouts and that's the project that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I thought that this particular kit from May of 2020 would work well with some photos that I came across recently in my stash as well because I stash photos as well as I stashed the layouts and papers and embellishments. So I want to show you what comes in one of these cut above layouts. This one, like I said, May 2020, and it comes with just about everything that you're going to need to create your layout. But like I said, I like to add things and move things around to make these layouts my own. So you get this pretty instruction sheet, and I'm going to flip this over just to show you what is on the back side. Now you'll have some measurements and some placements and it'll give you some suggestions and you'll have two double layouts to work with in the kits. And I like to um, go ahead and mix up some of the elements sometimes between the pages because they are similarly themed, so to speak. You'll get our high quality memory protectors, uh, page protectors there. You'll get a bundle of photo mats and photo placeholders and they are ready to go. They're properly sized for the layouts and they're wonderful. Sometimes though I don't make the layouts ahead of time because these photo mats can be limiting and I want to sometimes redo things based on my own photos. So there are some die cuts and you'll see those come out very easily because they're already falling out on me. There's some photo mats and then some embellishments and they'll say layout one or layout two, but there's no rules here. This is the pre-printed basis for layout one. So we're going to put those to the side and we are going to focus on these pre-printed bases for layout number two. And you'll see there's also a sticker sheet and those are also labeled layout one and layout two, but don't be afraid to mix these up and borrow from one layout and give back some to the other. Now, I have these photos of Emma when she played soccer and she was a goalie and I just loved the colors, the orange and the blue of the sky, but the layout itself didn't have enough green and there was a lot of green in my, uh, in my photos. So I decided to bring in one of Close to My Heart stencils, one of these that I've cut up. Um, there's nine images, nine stencil images on one sheet of stencil. So I went with these bigger dots and I'm using my Mode Lawn Distress Oxide inks and I am just giving a random dotted pattern in the green. And I just, I think that that's just gonna add some interest. Now I also have some of our gloss sprays and these have become my favorite. Sometimes you'll, these, when I shake these up, they have a ball that agitates the paint and other ones don't. Now, just be careful where you spray this because you do want to um, be able to wipe it down. So I'm using my all-purpose mat so I can spray here and there. And um, you want to give this just a moment or two to dry. It's going to dry very quickly in my home because the air is so dry here right now. Um, so quick cleanup of that all-purpose mat and I'm ready to go with my photos. So I've decided I'm going to keep two of the larger photos and I discard one off to the side. It's not necessary to use every photo that you take. And I'm stealing some of these photo mats from layout number one to put here on layout number two. And so I'm just matting my three by four photos, cut a couple of my photos down, and um, I'm going to put some foam tape on the back because I do want to eventually pop these off the page just a bit. I think that th having things lower and raised just creates more interest and you've heard me say it before. I thought about using that larger photo map but it just took up too much space and I knew I wanted to use this Be Brave title here. 
And I've just grabbed my anti-static pouch and I know it was very quick, but I pounced on it because it turned my sticker into a chipboard piece by putting that powder down. So I can then just put some foam tape under it and pop it up and it won't, I don't worry that it's gonna stick below. I'm going to use the Be Brave title that was intended on this layout, but I did want to add just a little more because I wanted to add the word goalie. So I'm pulling out this beautiful um, holographic paper of ours, and I am just using our block letter thin cut set, and I have cut out the word goalie. These cut beautifully out of that holographic paper with our thin cuts, and I just think that adds so much to the page just to have that holographic look that is going to reflect and pick up all of the other colors that are around. So this particular color picks up a lot of the oranges, yet it does, when I turn the page in certain lights, pick up some green hues as well and lots of yellow. So it's a really fun uh, color to use here with my goalie pictures. Now I'm using my mono glue here mono multi glue I believe it's called and that works great for gluing these little little letters down you have a moment to move them around if you need to if you've just not placed them and I've used an old scrap of cardstock as a guide to place those letterings the the letters of the word goalie straight so now I'm using my micro tip non stick scissor non stick scissors that's a tongue twister to put down some more foam and I'm going to pop up that photo of Emma looking all serious in gold. I decided at this point, I just wanna add a little more color. So I'm being very brave and spraying some of this ocean gloss spray. This is among my favorite items to play with from our current Close to My Heart catalog are those gloss sprays because they just add touches of color here and there and um, it's just a lot of fun and it creates a different texture on the page because they're kind of shiny when they dry. Now again, I'm gonna pop that photo right onto the photo mat that was already built into the page for me. So sometimes you'll encounter those like I did on the left page and they might not fit, you know, you might have a landscape photo like I did instead of a portrait, but that's okay. Don't worry, just do what I did put down your photo anyway, and then we're going to fill in that negative space with some embellishments from the kit later. So I like that it was, these pages had a really good start, but I was able to bring in some of my other colors by just adding those gloss sprays and distress inks. And uh, now I'm stealing these arrows and some of the stars from layout number one, and I'm going to use them on layout number two. Yeah, I'm keeping all of those chevron pieces um, from layout two that I can use on layout one. So don't be afraid to borrow. After all, this is all about using what's in your stash, not holding on to it. So if it works on this layout, I'm going to use it and I'm going to be fearless about it, just like my brave goalie here. So I'm just playing with placement of these stars. I wanted to just have them around the page. Um, you'll see I'll go on to the sticker sheet and and such and try to pull out some of the white white stickers but um, I don't love the white stickers uh, some of them are white with just little green patterns I just didn't feel like they went well with these photos so I'm avoiding those if I possibly can even that's just too much white so I stay away from that and I just have those stars moving across the page so that they draw my eye from the you know bottom right all the way up across to the left hand side or vice versa. I brought in my blue bell sequins and I know that I've sped this up quite a bit at this point in time but I play sequins in groups of threes or fives and um, you know I go back and add some and then in the end I actually took off these two extra sequins but that's okay we can change our mind right? So I just felt like those sequins added something. You know, it is, after all, a layout of my daughter. So it was okay to bring in some, some glitz into this really very brave and boyish colored layout. 
you'll see that I've also gone back and added some more of those circles that were colored with our Distress Oxide ink and our Close to My Heart stencils. I added more because I felt like it just needed more to anchor. And I've sprayed some more gloss spray, but in the end, I really love how this layout turned out and it was very unexpected for a layout of my daughter. And that's what I love about those uh, Craft With Heart subscription kits is that you're always going to find the perfect background for your photos too. So if you wanna learn more about that, I'll put the links down below in my video's description. Next up on the collab will be Katie, and her video will be available tomorrow, Tuesday. And I'll link to her video below down in my description as well. Now, I hope that you are following us with the hashtag CDT, love your stash. And if you've not yet become one of my subscribers, I would appreciate it if you would do so and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Now have a very creative day and thanks for stopping by.